in this video i will be explaining to you guys everything you should know about match tax in main chain you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button so that your algorithm can help to show this video to other viewers or to you other guys who are in need of learning about what matters means in main chain. so without wasting much of our time let's get started so this video is going to be a complete overview of everything that deals with smart tags in mainstream CRM platform. So far, I'll be using mainstream for quite a while, and I understand that majority of people and majority of you guys don't know what smart tags and how to make use of smart tags to increase your conversion rate for your email marketing campaign. So this is why I decided to make a complete video of everything that deals with math tags in your main team campaign. Alright guys, I've prepared a complete documentation of this presentation and I'm going to leave the link in the description of the video. I will also leave the link to the resources of main chain particles which you can also have access to and follow along here are four things which are going to be discussing and which i'm going to explain to you in this video concerning mention matter so the first thing we are going to discuss is what are matters in main chain one thing which we'll be discussing is how to create a custom matter and its application in your email marketing and crm campaign now the third thing which we'll be discussing in this video are main chain operators so i'll be showing you guys different operators that is applicable to main chain math tax if you are not a programmer you don't have to worry about this because these are simple mathematical symbols which i'm sure majority of us we are familiar with and the last thing which we'll be discussing is how to implement and apply math tax in our campaign to improve our conversion rate as a developer and as an email marketing expert now what is math tax according to mention particles conditional math tax help you control who sees what is in your email when you add conditional math tax to a specific piece of content, it will show only to the recipient who meets the conditions you set. It works similar to programming languages. At the start of your conditional content, you will add an opening tag with certain operators and values. You will then add a closing tag at the end of your conditional content in the same content block as the opening tag. For a better understanding of how conditional math tags works, in this tutorial we'll be making use of an example store which I call Fragile Store. So for instance, on our store we are selling fashion and clothing products. And let's take for instance, we want to create a campaign, a promotional email to all our customers and we want to target only customers who are 21 years older. Now, the conditional mark tax is going to look something like this. So, we can create a conditional mark tag something like this and this message or this email is going to be sent out to all our customers that their age 
are greater than or equals to 21 years so you can see here in the illustration that if the age is greater than or equals to 21 they should receive this message check out our special deals on clothes and that is where our conditional matter is going to end so this is a typical example of how conditional matter works in MailChimp. Now let's quickly talk about operators in MailChimp. For those of us who are already a programmer or who are familiar with programming languages like Python, like C++, like Java, we understand what operators means and how to make use of them. But if you are a beginner, you don't have to panic. In this section, I'm going to explain to you operators in MailChimp. So like any other mathematical operators, the same thing applicable to MailChimp operators as well. So there are a lot of operators in MailChimp. Now the first operator which I'll be talking about is the equal to operator. Now this is how we apply equal to operator. For instance, you create a conditional matter here that if age equals 21, this product is only for 21 years people and the message should end. Any other subscribers, any other customers we have in our audience list that their age is not equal to 21 are not going to receive this email or this content. Now the second operator is the not equal to operator. Just as the name implies, so we create a conditional matter here that if age is not equal to 21, they should receive this message that this product is only for people who are not 21 years old. That means any subscribers that their age is less than 21 or their age is greater than 21 will receive this message. Now the third operator is the greater than operator. The greater than operator applies for any customers or any subscribers we have on our audience list that their age is greater than 21. Just like this, so they are going to receive this message this product is only for above 21 years people. Now the next operator is the less than operator. The less than operator, for instance, only subscribers that their age is less than 21 is going to receive this message. This clothes is only for people less than 21 years. Now we have another operator which we call greater than or equal to. Now, take for instance, you want to send a campaign to those customers that their age starts from 21. So, we can create a conditional matter again like this, that if their age is greater than or equal to 21, that means that the, the uh, subscribers or customers that their age starts from 21, 22 and above are going to receive this message and the last operator is the less than or equals to operator so the less than equals to operator means 21 be done below and below they are going to receive this message and those are the six major operators we have in main team uh, crm software now let's talk about the four conditional statements in MailChimp. The first conditional statement is if. So this if is used to indicate the content to display if the math tag value is true. In the example earlier, that if the age is equal to 21. Now, the second conditional statement is the S statement. 
So the if statement is used to indicate alternative content to display if the math tag value is false. Now the third conditional statement is the else if statement. The else if statement is used to specify new math tag to be matched against if the math tag value is false. That means that it's just like in Python, we can create an else if statement that enable us to specify a new match tag that can be matched to a specific or to the original match tag which we create. So for instance, we can create a match tag that if the age is equals to 21, send this message. Else if the age is less than 21, send this message. Else if the age is greater than 21 send this message and so on now the last conditional statement is the if not statement the if not statement is used to indicate the content to display if the match tag value is false so it is just like the else statement it's just like the else statement you can use either the else or the if not statement now in this last session of this video we are going to talk about conditional math tax examples how you can apply math tax to personalize a campaign now let's take uh, for instance this match tag we want to create what we are trying to achieve here is we are trying to translate our content or our image for international audiences now we create a math tag like this that if mc language which is our original math tag is equals to es which is uh spanish that the spanish content should be displayed to them else if the the language of the subscriber is not spanish then you should display english content to them and then we end the statement here so this kind of this kind of conditional statement is going to show our content in different languages based on the contact profile information that we have in our audience list so this is how you can create or translate your content or emails for international audiences and with this you can actually personalize your campaign and get a better conversion rate for instance on our Fredia store we have subscribers or we have customers who are from Germany we have subscribers who are from Spanish we have subscribers who are or customers who are from uh united states now in our campaign we can create a personalized campaign like this we can translate our message in english we can translate our, our message in spanish we can translate our message in German. and those subscribers or those customers who are from spanish are going to receive a personalized emails in their language and those subscribers or those customers that their, their, their language option is JAMA will receive emails in German, in JAMA and the same thing goes for English, English customers. So with this, you are going to get a better conversion rate for your marketing campaign. Now, if you want to display content to subscribers or to customers who are having a data missing in our audience list we can create a conditional statement like this so for instance this is a conditional statement which we create that hello if f name which we've created in our main team audience list so if the f name and 
f name is available so hello this what, what this statement is means is that this message is going to print out like this hello if the first name that means if the first name of our audience list is available of a subscriber is available then you should print out the mess their first name here which is f name else that means that if their first name is not available for a subscriber that the first name is not available then you should change it to friend so for instance we have two subscribers one, one uh the first subscriber gave us uh his first name and the second subscriber did not give us his first name now but we want to send out a campaign to them a personalized campaign to them now the first subscriber that gave us his first name is going maybe his first name was victor now this first subscriber is going to receive this message hello victor which is the first name and that means the the first name is available for that particular customer but now the second subscriber did not give us uh his first name so that means we the data the first name data of the second subscriber is missing in our audience list so and we don't want to send just hello to them we want to send something to personalize and then to make our campaign more more personalized so that is the reason why we create this second condition that else if the first name is not available then you should change it to friend and then the statement should end so that is what that is how you can create a personalized campaign to all your subscribers whether some of them are having their full data or maybe you are uh, some of them are having a, uh, some data that are missing in your audience list and with this you can get more conversion rates in your marketing campaign now let's take for instance we want to create a special offer to our customers to all the customers we have on our Fredia store we plan to create a special offer for them now how can we do that now let's take a look at this example here in this example conditional statement that if the transactions that means we have a match tag already called transactions so we have a match tag already called transactions and now we create a conditional statement here that if the transactions is greater than or equal to 20 that means that for any customers that have paid more uh, that has placed another more than 20 on our store they are going to they should receive this email that enjoy this 40 percent off coupon so so what, what we are trying to achieve here is for uh maybe we have different categories of customers you know on our customers some customers will have ordered let me say like let's say like 10 some have ordered 20 products some have ordered 40 products so here now this this uh message is going to be sent out or only customers that have placed a transaction that is greater than or equals to 20 that means any transaction that starts from 20 and above uh, by customers they are going to receive this coupon code so we have to create a coupon code my tag as well so i'm going to share with you guys a practical example of how to go about this how to set this up how to how to use the conditional match uh my tags creating in the conditional match statement integrating it with your store and setting everything up in my next video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel so that you get notified immediately i update the newest or the latest uh, practical example or practical illustration on this now let's continue we create an else if statement you know we've already created the if statement here that if the transactions is greater than or equals to 20 
that those customers should receive this message else if that means else if the transactions of our any of our subscriber or any of our customers is greater than or equals to 10 to 19 from 10 to 19 they should receive this message enjoy this 20 percent of coupon so they will also receive this uh match tag coupon code then else if any other customers does not meet those these two requirements this is the first argument and this is the second argument then else any customer that their their order is below 10 then they should they should receive this message that enjoy this 10 percent of coupon so that means that we are offering what we are trying to achieve here is we are offering 10 percent coupon to only uh to only customers who are placed up to like 10 uh, below 10 orders we are offering 20 percent coupon code to customers who are placed order between 10 to 19 and lastly we are placed uh we are creating a coupon code to customers whom their orders is more than uh is more than 20 so that's what we are trying to achieve here and with this we can we can actually send out a personalized campaign and a campaign that will be tailored based on the uh, amount of orders the users have placed on our website now the last thing which we will be talking about in this video is how to use groups with conditional match tags so we are not familiar with what groups means groups enable us to segment our audience our audience list for instance we have uh, let's say for instance on our Freya store we have customers who have been placing orders now we can create three groups category the first one can be wholesales wholesale groups that means uh, customers who normally place orders in large quantity so we can set can set a, a condition set condition based on creating groups in my next video i'm going to show you the practical illustration of how everything works so you don't have to worry then uh we can create a second group and we can call them first time buyers that means the new uh only 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 first time buyers will be added to the group and then the third group can be re repeated buyers that means repeated buyers we are having constantly have on our website on our store so those are the three groups we are having then we can we can actually target and create a a personalized campaign based on uh all our customers groups that means that uh the campaign which we are going to send out to our first time buyers will be quite different from the campaign which we have to send out to our repeated buyers and then it's going to be different from the campaign which we have to to send out to our OSA buyers so we can create a, a conditional statement based on each groups we have in our audience list for instance this is how to create go about it you can create it like this uh, interested then the group title we have the group title here that means uh let's take for instance this is our group title the customers then the group name is uh oc let's take for instance i want to send it to the first time buyers then we can write our content here that welcome to our store uh get this free 20 percent coupon code on your first order then we can end the in uh the statement here so this is how to go about creating using groups of uh, uh, setting or sending out a, a personalized campaign to our uh, customers based on the groups which they fall into now let's take another example here 
we can create a, a conditional statement like this to our repeated buyers so you can see the interested then the customers is the is the is the group name then the, the group category are the repeat buyers so for our repeat buyers we are sending them a coupon code here is a special promotion just for our most dependable customers then we end the statement so this is going to send to only customers that are repeated buyers on our Freddia store and let's take another example here we are sending this message to our wholesale and first time buyers so we create a conditional statement here that if the interested uh, then the customers which is the group name then the group categories uh, the wholesale and then the first time buyers then if uh, any of our customer falls into this category then they should receive this message that thanks for your interest in the potted planter else if any of our customers does not fall into this category uh, which is wholesale and first time buyers then they should receive this message that we are sure if you would like to continue to hear from us would you like to update your profile to let us know a little bit about you then the statement will end so this is how we can create a, a personalized campaign to uh both our wholesale and our first time buyers let's take another example here for instance here we are trying to send campaign to multiple groups but in our multiple groups our multiple groups can be we can they can be nested to show unique content to each group and default to anyone else now let's take for instance this example here we create a conditional statement that if the interested then the group name which is the category then the group cat, uh, category which is the wholesale and the repeat buyers then if you're interested the customers and the wholesales so we are creating this for the wholesales alone that you are one of our wholesales buyers so only wholesales buyers are going to receive uh, this message then you should end the statement now then we create the second statement which is for the repeat buyers here that you are one of our loyal customers then you should end the statement here then if else which is else or you can use if not so else if any of our customer does not fall into these two category group category then they are going to receive this message that we aren't sure how you would how you heard about the potted planter would you like to update or provide to let us know a little bit about you then the statement is going to terminate so this is how you can create a a a, a conditional match tag or a conditional match statement that is based or that will be that will be targeted to each of your customers or each of your groups groups uh, you have on your audience list now in my next video i'm going to log into my main chimp account and show you the practical illustration of how to create a conditional mark tag how to create the mark tag setting it up integrating it with your store and you are going to do a live practical store synchronize it with our store and uh, set everything up show you guys how everything works in detail so if you have to understand now don't have to worry just sit back and relax subscribe to my channel click on the like button and share this video to those people who need it just make sure that you don't miss the next video so thank you all for watching this video and i'm going to see you guys in the next video